Two Baldwin County families were concerned about their loved ones and asked investigators to check on them. Both were found dead. Camila Williams is in studio to tell us what happened. Lori. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office told us they never received complaints or domestic violent calls from Shinesia Kazi and Eddie Swint's home. Major Brad King says the family told him Kazi and Swint broke up after Thanksgiving, but their relationship ended in tragedy Monday night. You throw in the stress of the holidays, you throw in the stress of a breakup or a tumultuous relationship, and, um, you know, it just only takes a second for something to go bad. Baldwin County Major Brad King remembering the last time he saw a murder-suicide like this. We actually worked one probably 10 years ago that was actually on Christmas Eve. Monday night, family members asked deputies to check on Shinesia Kazi. She was headed to this home on Old Stage Road. She was going to the residence to remove some of her items. Uh, she was apparently had moved out. Eddie Swint's family also asked him to check on him at the same home. Neither family could get a hold of them. When deputies arrived, found both inside the residence deceased. King says they're calling it a murder suicide, but who shot who? The, the female was shot first. Then King says Swint shot himself. He says their department didn't know of any previous incidents between Causey and Swint. He says the family say Causey and Swint dated for a few years, but broke up. So what's next for the investigation? Eventually we will close our case uh, because of there's no need for further investigation on, on, a, on an incident of this nature. King says if you know someone in a relationship, be aware of any domestic violence. If you are going to, to meet, if you're going to exchange items or anything, have somebody with you. Take law enforcement with you. Emotions are already um, traveling at a high rate of speed and Things like this happen, unfortunately. The Baldwin County coroner requested an autopsy for the victims. King says results will probably confirm what they already know, that both died from gunshots. Back to you, Lori. Thank you, Camila. If you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE or text START to 88788.